welcome back to my channel my name is patty for those of you who do not know and we're getting into another vlog y'all i had such an amazing birthday y'all i'm still on a high it is hump day um i think i ended last vlog with my sister and i going to the movies i think I think I mentioned it, but I may have like abruptly ended the vlog. Your girl was a little tired. <laughs> but um, we're going to go check out a new restaurant today. And I was like, I got to bring y'all along. I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm trying to enjoy outside today. And I'm really hoping that we get tickets because tomorrow, uh, Miss Kamala Harris is going to be in Charlotte. And I found out about it a little late, so I'm kind of hoping I get a ticket. But if I don't, then I don't. But I'm trying to enjoy these next two days, y'all, because it's supposed to rain for like a week and a half. Yeah. 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 So uh, let's go home and get dressed. Um, I don't know why I decided to do this intro while driving around this YD road. Clearly your girl is uh, lacking some common sense. So we're gonna go home and get changed and then head to dinner. <laughs> Um, starting with the restaurant the restaurant was so good um, there wasn't a lot of people inside I don't feel like so far they've done a lot of really good promo um, I don't even remember them doing like a soft launch and I feel like there are very very like popular creators um, in Charlotte so normally when new restaurants opening they have like a soft opening they have like the creators to come out to make that content so people know about it um but i only saw one person post about it prior to us going um i actually went to chef greg's uh bio because i was like where's leah and louise <laughs> like i know they closed it down they're going to reopen in a different side of town so it's no longer in camp north and it's my favorite restaurant in charlotte like hands down um I love the restaurant. <laughs> so I was going back to see like, okay, are y'all opening it soon? Like, where is it at? And I saw that they opened another business. So we went and the food was really, really good. So I got the oxtail, um, the oxtail meatloaf and that was divine. Um, my sister got the chicken breast and when you get the chicken like look at the description it's giving very much it's a soul food this is comfort food but if you're not familiar with chef greg he always does like a twist on those southern comfort foods so we were thinking it was going to be like a fried piece of chicken like a chicken breast like a <laughs> but no it was like chicken breast like thinly sliced um, with amazing flavor. It had some type of like smokiness to it that was so good. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a skin update as well so you'll understand why I'm not using my Lumi right now. Um, but the food was so good. So I got the oxtail meatloaf. My sister got the grilled chicken and then the sides are all a cart so i got the macaroni and cheese the mac and cheese and i got the greens and the greens are made with uh smoked turkey meats not with pork and uh, the greens were so good <laughs> the greens were so freaking good i still have some left over in the fridge i'm thin the bus down today it was so so good um, for size, the mac and cheese surprisingly was not good and it wasn't like it was bad. It's just 
I'm used to all of his dishes having like a special flair and it just tasted very like typical. Very typical. My sister got the yams and she said they were savory. They weren't sweet and she was in the mood for like yam yams. So take note of that. Um, so I would definitely go back. 100% go back. The drinks, the custom drinks that he designed on the menu. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but there's loads of other dishes on the menu that I'm dying to try. But yeah, I highly recommend the oxtail meatloaf, the grilled chicken. Is it grilled chicken? Was it grilled? I don't know. But get the chicken, the chicken breast, and get the greens. There's other sides on there that I definitely would try. Oh, and the bread, y'all, with the sangria butter. Yeah, sangria butter. So good. So good. Now, was the bread small as I don't know what? 100% it was. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's how they get you to want to go ahead and get that other next set for $5. But, babes, it was so good. So, I made, you know, some videos, TikToks and stuff, and I hope it helps because people should know about it. It's in such a, like, convenient location in Uptown. Like, it's in walking distance of where that Target and at home is. I think across the street is where like the Marshalls and Burlington and the Trader Joe's is. It's right in that area. Whew. Update as far as my skin, y'all. I don't think I told y'all at the end of my birthday vlog. Because I kind of was, that was probably like the most uh, in the moment <laughs> birthday I've had in a long time. Like I did footage, but it wasn't like as much as I've done in the past. Um, so that Sunday or that Saturday, my face broke out so freaking bad. Like, it's gotten so much better that you can't even really see it. But all of this was super textury and flame. It was red. Y'all know I'm a richly melanated woman. So for me to turn red, for you to visibly see that I'm red, flag on the play. So, I'm trying to figure out what it was because that's like the second time my face has broken out recently. Um, like I told y'all, it broke out when I went to D.C. Um, and these aren't normal breakouts for me. Normally, I'll get like pimples, whiteheads. This is something different and I'm trying to figure out what it is that's setting my face off. And I have a few theories. Um... But I'm going to test them before I, like, officially speak on things. Um, but one of my theories is that either my um, makeup is just expired. <laughs> it is old because I have not used any new makeup products. There is nothing new in my makeup routine that I have not used for at least two to four years. Same brand, same everything. Now, do I have some products that are old and past their shelf life? I do. Okay, so that's part of the theory. Second theory is I'm thinking that although the Lumi says that it is micro antimicrobial or whatever, however you say that, Charlie Girl needs to be sanitized, and I have not sanitized her. So I don't plan. I do plan to reuse her, but only after I get some antibacterial soap, and then I also use a disinfectant, let that sit for ten minutes before reusing it. Um. Third possible uh, myth, or not myth, but scenario is that double cleansing with the Lumi is too much for my face um, because it already does like a 120 minute cycle, I mean 120 second cycle of two minutes. Um, I think that it may be a little bit too much to use it to remove my makeup and cleanse my face after, or I was using too much pressure. Um, and then the third theory I have is that maybe I'm developing an allergy, a food allergy or something. So I know it's not like my powder because I've still been doing my brows this week and I've had no instances of that. So I know it's not those products. But yeah. So I'm going to test out different things and I'll come back and let y'all know like in a week or two. What I think it was um, right now, this week, I've only been baby in my skin, no active. So I haven't been using my Pixie Toner um, and I haven't been using my Retinol. Um, I'm going to give it a couple more days and then I'll get back into using those products. 
but my face y'all was so sensitive and so raised that it was painful like i literally could not use a lumi even if i really had wanted to because it hurt so bad it was so sensitive and it's still just like a tad sensitive but it was like a like hundred percent I cannot put nothing on my face but the pads of my fingers. And even then, that was still like, oof. All of this was just super pronounced and raised. And that sucked. So, the only active I've been using um, is the one that's in my moisturizer, which is the acetic acid, which y'all told y'all. Clear my face up time and time again um, And even that like I don't think it's any of my makeup products because again y'all everything I mean in my skincare routine Everything in my skincare routine minus the Lumi y'all I've been using for two plus years It's nothing new in here <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna figure out what it is we are um, So yeah this weekend, I decided that it's going to be a chill weekend and slightly productive and like setting myself up for this week and what I need to get done because next week, we're going to be outside Wednesday to Sunday. <laughs> and I'm so excited. There's so many fun events that I'm looking forward to going to, festivals and such, so we're resting. <laughs> my sister left this morning. She was my last guest. It was so nice having her here. But she got on the road this morning. So it's just back to being little me. Little me. And I need to clean my home. So now that I've finally showered and stopped being a nasty girl. <laughs> I'm going to take like the next like 30 minutes to an hour to straighten up. And then get right back on the couch. And continue to relax. Hey y'all, so it is Sunday and I'm just getting back in from church and y'all, it was the word I needed to hear. It was literally, if you've been following you know, me for a minute and some of the discussions that I've just been having about this past year, um, it was what I needed. <laughs> so finally, I felt like finally <laughs> let go and move forward. Um, it was talking about the ripple effects, um, and I'm not going to do a good job of summarizing it, so I'm just going to have a link down below. Um, but it was, it was a turning point I needed. It was a page turner. It was the surrendering that I needed and it was so good. <laughs> so if you're going through a hard season or kind of just kind of questioning things of like, why are you where you are? What's happening? How do you move forward? You know, um, how do you really actively let it go and what to do? Not just from the super religious standpoint, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so today I was supposed to be doing a lot of batch recording, but I did not properly prep. So I decided we're going to do that tomorrow. So I'm going to bring y'all along <laughs> to kind of show y'all how I prep and get ready for a film day, a batch recording day. Um, and we're going to finish doing some laundry so we can be ready to set our week off right. Because tomorrow is Monday and we get back in the gym. <laughs> gym today i went to the gym today um and now my motivation is gone to bash record <laughs> it's not helping that it's like super dreary um but also i was having issues with my ac um one thing i can say about my complex that i love is that i've never had to wait more than 24 hours um of putting in a maintenance request i literally put in the request at probably like 8 39 ish they were here the next hour and it's not my actual unit. They think it's the outside unit. So I'm glad it's not super hot today. But it is um, a little warmer than I like it. And I usually always get extra hot when I'm filming. Um, could I thug it out? I could. I could. I could. Is everything laid out? It is. It is. Do I feel like talking today? I don't. 
I don't. I don't. And honestly, guys, I'm just going to end the vlog here. I know it was, like, pretty short, like, a day or two or so. Um, but a lot of stuff is happening next week, and I kind of just want to keep that all in the vlog together. So, as always, y'all, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me, commenting on everything that I do, y'all. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I'll catch y'all in next week's vlog because we outside. <laughs> Oh